So here we can take a look at the setup I have with my air compressor now. I found out this works pretty well for me. I just have the hose coiled. So all I have to do is take this end off and plug it in. And then from here, if it's in the garage, I can just kind of uncoil what I need. But since this is gonna be so far out, I'll probably just bring the whole thing. go run and turn this on and run away because it gets pretty loud and I don't have my earplugs in. That's about 34 PSI. And I think on this, let's see. So max load single, 50 PSI cold. All right, so that's right at about 45. We'll keep it there. Right, there's about 45. So now I got 45 on both sides. So hopefully that's right. And if not, I guess we'll find out. Hi, this is Brad with Copper Creek Cuts, a lawn care company in Northeast Florida, if you didn't already know. Today's video is a bit of a departure for me. Uh, with the season starting up, I think I'd like to try and see if it's possible to come up with some content for a third upload in the week. And the thing that makes the most sense to me is just following me along for the workday. So we'll see if we can make something like that work. Now, most of my lawns are gonna start back on schedule Friday, March the 1st. I do have this one customer who requested a hedge trim and cut earlier, so we're gonna take care of that today. As far as updates on the company, uh, almost everybody who was a client last year has renewed for 2019. I don't have contracts. I just basically sent them a message saying, hey, would you like to be on the schedule for 2019? It's gonna be starting March 1st, and I think all but one has said yes. And I think the one who hasn't said yes will but chickens before they hatch and all. So what else? So for 2019, I've got some new PPE, personal protection equipment or personal protective equipment. I'm not sure which. One change that you'll notice is the mask that I use. Um, I found during my first season, 2017, that if I go do four or five yards over the course of a half day, the next day, if I haven't worn a mask, all the dust and the dirt and the, the grass clippings they have uh, really affected and hammered my sinuses to where I pretty much sound like this. This is unrelated to working on a yard, but it's pretty much the same. And you know, when you get home, you're blowing out all the dirt and the tissues and everything, so it's not a very fun time. Towards the end of 2017, I bought a, an RZ mask and used that, and that worked great, uh, except for the fact that because it is Florida and because it's so hot, by the third yard of the day, I had put so much sweat into that thing that it was very difficult to breathe through. If you could imagine taking a damp washcloth and putting it over your mouth and your nose and trying to breathe through that, it's pretty much the same thing. So uh, the RZ mask was good for a few yards and then it was, just, it was just torture. I couldn't use it anymore. So this year I got a couple of half mask respirators. I'm sure that I'll look a bit silly in that, but, um, you know, it's, it's worth it to me because it, the days I don't wear a mask, I'm just miserable the next day. And uh, it's just not worth it. I'd rather look silly and, and not have respiratory issues for the rest of my life, you know, because of this work. So we are coming up quick on the property. It's a very short drive. This is one of the neighborhoods that I target that's, uh, I think, less than a mile for me, if even that. But we are going to do a hedge trim and a cut on the yard. One of the things that I'm going to try and do this time or this visit is instead of raking the clippings up and putting them at the end of the street I'm just gonna try and mulch them up so I will rake them out from underneath the beds and uh, you know get them out from get them out to where the mower can actually mulch them but since I've got this eco plate now uh, mulching kit plate whatever you want to call it eco plate is the brand name since I have that now I can go ahead and mulch up all those clippings which Hopefully we'll save time and you know not having to, to uh, bend over and bag it and put it at the end of the street and all that stuff. So we'll see how that works out. And we'll try and do a before and after of everything just to see if we can come up with some kind of formula for these type of videos that you guys like. 
It's definitely going to be me talking a lot more, so I'll put disclosures that, hey, this isn't really work-related. This is just me blabbing my mouth a bit. Parking in this street is such a pain because it's so narrow and everybody parks on the road. So I actually have to go a little bit past the house and park. So our edges do look a bit rough. Uh, hedges don't look bad at all. I had to make sure he still didn't do them. I guess just because of a burnum's peeking out. You can see a couple of spots there. But uh, this lore petalum or lore petalum. I say lore petalum. I heard Johnny Crook say lore petalum. That looks fine. You've got lots of leaves, so we'll make sure and go real slow with the eco plate. Yeah, we'll just have to touch up the viburnums, but this is. Um, View over here. See lots of new growth, but nothing too bad. Let's get this guy out of the way where we can. Whoa. All right, so let's get started on that. Here's one pile. Here's another. And here's a few more. So we're going to see if we can mulch these up with a mower. Okay, so that was one of those jobs that uh, you just want to get done with. I thought I would film a lot more, but I didn't because I just want to get done. Uh, it's going to take a few visits before all these leaves get cleaned up. We didn't do any kind of a leaf cleanup. We just did, you know, just a regular mow. So there's tons of leaves from the winter underneath the beds and everything that we'll just have to, and you can even see in the right here probably should have blown that out but I didn't think about it <clears throat> and uh, and this guy will be cool with the fact that it's gonna take a little while so here's our shrubs I'm uh, kind of a big dummy I still forgot that the front lip of my Bobcats deck is up so that's better for taller grasses uh, but it also means that a whole bunch of stuff shoots out look at this little guy what is he Oh, he's attached. There we go. Not anymore. All right, that's how you do it without clippers when they're in the car. Oh. The other thing too, I raked these out a few times, but stuff still sticks up. So you just gotta tuck it back in. So here's everything. Um, mulching over it worked okay, but because of the fact that that lip was in the up position uh, it spewed out a ton of stuff from the front and it was an extremely extremely dusty and dirty job so I'll, I'll try and see if there's a shot of me with that mask on but I have to wear a mask otherwise uh, my throat and my nose will just get completely messed up so anyways that's that job it probably took longer much longer than a uh, normal cut and hedge trim like I've done for him before because of the fact that one I messed up and all that stuff was shooting out of the front and uh, two because I tried to mulch everything up so that was probably taking up a little bit more time so at the beginning of this video we talked about a few updates to the business uh, I think I talked about some PPE which you may have seen 
I'm also doing a bit of a uniform refresh, getting some embroidered polos from Queensboro. Um, we'll see if those look okay. We also have uh, postcards going out Monday to try and get in mailboxes by either Tuesday or Wednesday. We're targeting three neighborhoods that are all within one or two miles of my house. So they're very close by and they're all neighborhoods that are uh, pretty much the cookie cutter type yards that I like, you know, two tenths of an acre or less. And those ones will be good because that's kind of the size that I like. <laughs> Ant! I don't know where he went. He was crawling on my hand. I knew I felt something. Okay, anyways. Oh, he's on the dashboard now. Well, as long as he stays there and away from me. This type of video is really just more of an experiment to see if I can create content for a third day that doesn't really take a whole lot of work on my part. I know the survey, a lot of people, the majority of people want more grass cutting, but that stuff takes forever to film and to edit. I'll certainly film those as I can, but I can't make extra content out of them because uh, I really don't have control over when I get those yards. So let me know what you think about this style of video. Uh, certainly it will get refined the more I do and now the ant is on the ceiling if he drops down on me I will wreck this car so please let me know what you thought of this video and your suggestions for future content or future videos uh, if you'd like to watch another video there's a couple over some point of the screen that YouTube thinks you might like and please consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell for updates when I put out new videos. Otherwise, YouTube won't let you know. Thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it.